Hi guys, hope that you're well. Um, we've got an update for you today and a couple of things to announce, well more than a couple of things, which of course is good in terms of the charity. Yeah. Firstly, of course, we hope that you're all safe and well in what is clearly a very unusual and testing time. It's been very odd for the both mm -hmm. of us who we've been working at home, working from home rather, and it's been um, odd. Very, very strange. Yeah, and we are the other reason I wanted to do a video today was because, like the rest of the world, I'm not going to possibly get a haircut for yes. weeks now. So um, next time yeah. you do one, it'll have grown quite a bit. Mm. And in fact, um, a friend of mine's always done my eyebrows, and I was due to see her this morning, but we cancelled for obvious reasons. So I've now got a new beautician, this one here. Very good one. Wasn't too bad, I have to say. You made a fairly yeah, decent it was, job. It was good. Had a head in a headlock, I have to say, at one point, which was quite necessary. Well, you've still got that half. Of yeah, I've got, yeah, so good. they'll look a bit better. But um, yeah, it's just really, really strange. Obviously, like everybody else, we just, well, it's only really me that goes out to get food from the supermarket, and that's about it. We sort of keep ourselves mm. fairly occupied. We're, we're more fortunate, you know, than people that are just, you know, in flats and stuff, which we really do feel, you know, fortunate we've got a house and you know, we've got a back garden, at least so we could get out. But um, we've been in lockdown for two weeks, I know mm -hmm. other countries have been awful lot longer, and um, how long it will go on for, nobody knows, unfortunately. Nope. So obviously at the moment, the charity, all the events that we had planned are obviously all cancelled. Um, but in... A good piece of news, we've now, we've just handed up, well, about three or four weeks ago, handed over another 35,000 to King's College London, to Charlotte's Lab, so in total we've handed over 175,000. Um, they were incredibly grateful, they're continuing with their testing, and we got an email and they just said, is there any chance that we could have some more money, and we said, yeah, naturally, of course mm. it is, and they were delighted because it means that they, they can do quite a lot more testing, I think, for yeah. a number of months now. Um, in another piece of news, um, I got awarded. You did. You got did. a Points of Light award. Which uh, we'll link down below. Yeah, which is, uh, I believe what it is, is the, the government here, every day they pick someone who, who's done some exceptional piece of volunteering or community service, and they highlight their um, work which you are very grateful to have got. Yep, so um, I think Boris Johnson obviously is a tad busy at the moment um, and they said as soon as things have quietened down then I should get, uh, you get a letter basically from the Prime Minister um, which is really nice so I'm looking forward to receiving mm. that at some point. And then in our local paper, Miles will actually put a picture of this, we got um, into our local paper so there's a nice picture Miles and I. And in other news, it was in fact they were on the 18th when we did Charlotte's last video. I heard from King's College the next day from my contact Gail there, and um, they've actually done, we'll, we will link it. It's actually there is a picture of it at the end with the stills. They've actually done a plaque for Charlotte which will hang outside her lab, so we're mm. absolutely thrilled with that. And we were due to go up this month in fact to get it sorted but again we can't do it but um yeah we'll put the plaque up i have actually photographed it so mm. when you get to the end of the stills it's, it'll be on there so in other news i thought we'd do um i thought we'd do our q a because i know that quite mm. a lot of people like that and um, thank you again by the way for we're still getting so many positive comments and subscribers which is is so nice it just sort of keeps us going especially with all the doom and gloom going around it's it's just nice to have something to mm. have a look at so miles right number one so which one of you would have been bold enough to jump from a plane with a parachute <clears throat> um me i'd do i'd do that i quite want to do that actually she wouldn't do it because she was petrified of heights. She didn't. She just couldn't do heights. I'd quite like to do that. Um, I wouldn't like to do that, and I don't think I'd want to do a bungee jump. Which is actually the next question: Which one of you would dare to go bungee jumping, or zip lining, or paragliding? Uh, I wouldn't mind doing that. 
any of those things. Charlotte did zip lining at Central yeah. Park. She was yeah. really, really good on it, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'd do that as well. Bungee jumping, no. Which one do you think of you two would be more likely to participate in some reality show? Charlotte. Yeah. I'm too cynical for that. I don't understand it. Yeah, no, I think definitely Charlotte on that. Um, who would have been most likely to laugh at the worst possible times? Probably both of us, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Your timings were never very good at some points, were they, I have to say. Actually, it used to be... I remember... It, it's such a silly story, but when Charlotte was up at our local hospital, she, she wasn't really poorly, she was in quite high spirits, and um, I remember my husband bent down, and uh, as he came back up, he banged his head on the sink. And I've never seen Charlotte laugh so much. It was really creepy, and I've never forgotten it. <laughs> but he did it really, it did it was a bit hurt. <laughs> she didn't really laugh about it. Um, do you have some, did you have similar dreams and goals? No. No, I think you were complete. She wanted to do beauty, didn't she? That's mm -hmm. really what she wanted to do when you're doing what you've always wanted to do, which was, which is to stay in academia. And if Charlotte was a flower or a tree, what would she have been? Strange question. I know it is. Uh, Get these off the internet. I don't know. I can't really think of any really annoying trees. <laughs> um, flower. Flower. I think she would have been a flower. flower. I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Um, if you were making a sandwich for Charlotte, what ingredients would you use? Probably Harry though. That's what she seems to like the most. Okay, yeah, probably. And uh, what's the other one? The prawn and cocktail. Oh, stuff. prawn cocktail yeah. stuff. She liked. Oh, smoked salmon with um, that cheese thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think they did ready-made sandwiches. Um, and tuna. Some... She liked tuna. Tuna. She was very keen on, but not cheese. She didn't like cheese at all. Um. How would Charlotte feel about pineapples on pizza? I don't know. I don't think she liked it, did she? No, I, I, don't, I, I don't think don't. any reasonable person should like it. It's an abomination. No, I'm not very keen on that. Um, given a choice, would Charlotte have chosen success or good looks? That's a tricky one. Success, I think. I don't think she was that vain. No. Success. Yeah, success. If she could have travelled back in time, which year would she have gone back to? I know you'd have probably done the 70s, wouldn't you? 70s, mm. 80s? Uh, I reckon she would go... I could imagine her in the... Um, oh, the 1960s, you know, when you had Twiggy and all those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that kind of mod street. look. Yeah, cool Britannia and like that. Thing. Um, what's the most expensive thing you ever got for her? I don't know. Uh, Paddington, probably. Oh yeah, Paddington there. Yeah. I mm. think the most expensive thing she bought for you was probably Insanity, wasn't it? Yeah, the exercise that's, that's really, um, programme, which isn't seeing as much use as it should during this lockdown. No, and then he also, when he was at Southampton, when it was very quiet. Oh yeah, this, this thing came on in the library. I had this really old laptop and the, I forgot that the exercise DVD, which is very high intense and very kind of uh, shouty, was still in the laptop. And of course the laptop, so that'd be an appropriate time to start playing this thing. Um, very, very loud. A lot of kind of electronic music came out and you've got the bloke at the front who does the exercise screaming his head off and shouting words of encouragement. And I closed the laptop lid and it still wouldn't stop. So uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Very, very quiet in that library. It was. Apparently. It was, yeah. Um, would she or you have plastic surgery when you get older or would you age gracefully? I don't think I'm going to age gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to get plastic surgery either. No, and I don't think she would have got plastic surgery. No, I don't think so. Which one of you used to get dressed the fastest? Me. Yeah, definitely you. Well, it was to take ages getting dressed. Um, which one's handwriting is the worst? Probably mine. My writing's very difficult to read. It's incredibly difficult to read, whereas Charlotte's was quite... Neat. Yeah, she had a really, really, because of her dyspraxia, I can't do the pencil, but it's not got pencil with me, but she had a really strange 
way yeah. that she used to hold her pen and she used to um, press really heavily down on the paper. I always remember that. Um, okay, who would be better at party planning? Probably shoulder, I think. Yeah, I think you'd just hang everything together and that would be it. Yeah. Yeah, because you managed, last Saturday evening you caught up with some friends from you, you didn't you? I did. Video. Video chat call. And that lasted four hours. Yeah. Several beers later. My friends from St Edmunds College. Yeah, so I think you might do that as a regular. That was good. Regular thing. Um, which one of you has the short fuse? I don't think either of us had a really short fuse, to be honest. No. But there are things that irritate me more than they should, but I think everyone's like that. I don't think either of us had a really short temper. No. Really. Well, you really didn't, not very much. You don't have a temper really at all, no. do you? No, neither of them did. Anyway, so that's just a few to keep going. Um, yesterday, I did actually put a status on our Facebook page, was that uh, it was four years ago, yeah, four years ago yesterday, we scattered Charlotte's ashes, and for the last four years, religiously, every Sunday I've been up there and I've taken flowers up, and the last three weeks, haven't been, and mm. it's really strange not kind of sitting down with a, um, or will do, I'll get back there again I'm sure, but uh, yeah, I kind of miss that, I have to say. Mm. But anyway, we don't want to make this too long, so thank you ever so much for everything. Next time you see us we'll have really long hair, Yeah. I'll have really big eyebrows as well. Well, I don't know, I've got my beautician now. Anyway, thanks ever so much and um, see you soon. Yes, and uh, stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Thanks. Okay, bye. bye.